As we take a closer look at the distal aspect of the carpus, we're going to observe the deep digital flexor tendon. Here we find the distal check ligament, which originates from the distal end of the palmar carpal ligament. The distal check ligament is the accessory ligament of the deep digital flexor tendon. You see the check ligament and the deep digital flexor tendon. As we look at the flexor tendons as they pass over the metacarpal phalangeal joint, we can incise the palmar annular ligament to see the superficial digital flexor tendon on the back of the palmar annular ligament that has formed a sleeve around the deep digital flexor tendon at this point. So as we open the palmar annular ligament with the superficial digital flexor tendon, we see the deep digital flexor tendon. We cut the deep digital flexor tendon to see the sesamoidean ligaments. The palmar ligament, or inner sesamoidean ligament, crosses between the proximal sesamoid bones. Three more sesamoidean ligaments originate at the proximal sesamoid bones. Here we'll cut the superficial digital flexor tendon. Inner sesamoidean ligament is still intact. This is the straight sesamoidean ligament that inserts on P2. The oblique sesamoidean ligaments forming a V on the side insert on P1. The cruciate sesamoidean ligaments are not seen here and are deep to the others and insert on P1. The straight sesamoidean ligament, the oblique sesamoidean ligaments, and then the cruciates would be deep to the straight sesamoidean ligament. The accessory carpal bone is here. The carpus is here have the median nerve, the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle which inserts on the accessory carpal bone, the ulnaris lateralis muscle which also inserts on the accessory carpal bone, and the superficial and deep digital flexor muscles. the median nerve, and the ulnar nerve, which runs between the flexor carpi ulnaris and the ulnaris lateralis muscle. The median nerve divides proximal to the carpus into the lateral palmar nerve and the medial palmar nerve. The lateral palmar nerve as said before, runs between the superficial and deep leaves of the flexor retinaculum. The medial palmar nerve will run through the carpal canal with the median artery, and the superficial and deep digital flexor tendons. More distally in the carpus, again, you can see the medial palmar nerve and its close association with the median artery. As well as the superficial and deep digital flexor tendons. All of these structures pass through the carpal canal. 
The distal check ligament is associated with the deep digital flexor tendon. In the metacarpus, the medial palmar nerve with, with its associated medial palmar artery run caudal to the metacarpus and medial to the digital flexor tendons. At the level of the fetlock or metacarpal phalangeal joint, the nerve will give off a dorsal branch. Again, we can see the medial palmar nerve as it runs caudal to the metacarpus and medial to the digital flexor tendons. 